What's up, FishTankTV.com and YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World, also known as Salty Wayne on Fish Tank TV. And I'm very proud, very proud, I'll admit that again. I'm very proud to be the first one on Fish Tank TV to show how to propagate a coral. Um, I'm going to start off with the easy corals first. Um, softies. This is a Kenya tree. This Kenya tree wasn't doing so good. Uh, due from a nitrate spike. As you can see, this is a big chunk of Chater Morpha in a one and a half gallon. Got an air pump going for circulation, and heater for, you know, heater. I dose it, be ionic. It's rolling good. This is the rock it was on. It was way too small. It's got some cyanobacteria on it, anyways. Let me get a better view. Okay, there we go. There's the Kenya tree right here. There's the red mushroom right here. Now, Kenya trees, they're very hardy. Um, what I'm basically going to do is take this little piece of live rock and I am going to set it on it. Some people actually, for a larger specimen, I would basically maybe put, maybe take some um, glue or something, some putty or a frag plug. Um, I could wedge it in between two pieces of gravel or something. But, but for a small specimen like this, what I'm going to do is I am going to put the piece of live rock in there and there's not much water flow in here, but there's enough for the soft coral. Soft corals don't need that much water flow. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take the Kenya tree and I'm going to place it on that live rock. Hopefully my hand doesn't overflow the tank. Shit, and it is. Uh, I'm going to get back at you in a minute. Took the water level down by taking a cup and taking some water out. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, this Kenya tree very easily and just very so easily set it on this piece of live rock. Now it's going to take longer this way. There we go. Perfect. Now, what's going on is that base is touching the bottom. Now I'm going to slowly pull this water back in here. Now what's going to happen is, over time, that foot on the coral is going to reattach itself and is going to basically attach to the um, piece of live rock. And, end of story, we've got a new piece of Kenya tree. And it's the same exact way you can frag them, but frag them is a little more difficult. Um, now, in this process, you're going to have to wait maybe tops, tops two weeks. It can be anywhere from a couple of days to two weeks, and that thing will, will be completely, completely on that piece of live rock. Alright, you can see it down there. Sorry, my acrylic tank is scratched up. But you can see the bottom base is right on the piece of live rock, and uh, the mushroom coral is looking a little better. It was on that little piece of live rock covered by cyanobacteria and basically it's it's now on a good better piece of live rock put my hand around that without worrying about hurting the corals this way it's a whole lot better i'll come back to the update video in a couple weeks or however long it takes and show you when the kenyan tree actually attached itself so comment rate subscribe any more questions or anything let me know what's up fish tank tv dot com and youtube my school's parking lot college not grade school and uh... you know i really hate this parking lot because people can't drive they're just and there goes one yakking on her cell phone. I look where she's going. Old drivers, I swear. Anyway, so um, I went to the local pet store before I got to college, and I've got about 15, no, um, let's see, 18 more minutes for class. And I got some grape colerpa. I had a whole bunch of this, but the powder brown tang ate it all. And now it's all gone. Shit, if I drop it. It's all gone now, so I got some more grape galerpa and this stuff grows faster than chetomorpha and that's what I have in that uh, the frag tank I have now in the um, in that one and a half gallon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this inside of the one and a half gallon and let it grow and let it pull out nitrates and phosphates and just get the water down to better quality so that's what's up I'll come back at you when I get home around I don't know nine o'clock at night so later wiggity, 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 wiggity. I'm back, I'm back, and that's what's up. So that's the uh, grape calerpa. And you can see why they call it grape calerpa. It looks like grapes growing on a vine. So it's grape grape calerpa. There you go. Also I got two little pieces of uh one piece is parrot feather. Saturday or whatever day I go back to the fish store, I'm gonna get this water tested again. And the nitrates are so high with all this macroalgae in here. Somebody won't be a happy camper. Um, if the nitrates are still high, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna wonder how, how high were the nitrates in this tank? 
to the, all these macro algae couldn't pull it out. But if they are high, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy some salt water, some reverse osmosis salt water already mixed up because I don't feel like doing it for this little tank and drain it down to here and like fill it back up and uh, just see what happens with that because that should take care of it, that should take care of it. Maybe I'll put a little bag of Chemipure Elite back there too um, or something like that but we got to take care of this problem really quick because I want to save these corals before they die. They're on the brink of uh, death so we got to do what we got to do.